Good morning or good evening wherever you are around the world and today I'm introducing to you a new completely revolutionary piece of kit called the Emeo. This is the first ever MIDI practice sax and what it is as you can see we have a genuine saxophone body here cut off at this point and it doubles as a MIDI controller. So if you actually look inside the saxophone you peer just behind the tone holes you can see a maroon block a cylinder if you like which has various sensors on it and this acts as the gear which provides the MIDI information that allows you to practice the instrument completely silently. In practical terms the playing options are either via Bluetooth with a connection to an iPhone or an iPad or you can connect it via a data cable to a laptop or a home computer which means that you can either enjoy playing it in the comfort of your own home or studio or you can even enjoy taking it out on your travels and playing completely silently and not bothering a soul. Now the cool thing about the, the guys who designed the Emeo is that they partnered with a company called Respiro and Respiro is a third party standalone program that has some really incredible uh, sounds within it and when we connect the Emeo to Respiro we get some fantastic sonic results as I will demonstrate in a bit. Uh, beyond this you can actually connect to any door of your choice in fact there's a whole list of doors that this uh, connects with and it works perfectly well but I should emphasize that you don't necessarily need to go through any of the third-party doors that you might well be familiar with because it will work with the standalone software the Respiro software that I have just mentioned. I'll go into a little more detail in a bit and take you through some of the additional features but in the meantime let's just get straight onto it and give you a demo of what this thing can do. Okay, so before getting on to the features of the MAO, I first want to point out that it comes packaged with this rather lovely lightweight case here, which has got a, a lovely internal section here for the MAO. It doesn't roll around at all. It's a very nice snug fit. And the extra bits and pieces that you get with it as well are very impressive. So you get a standard mouthpiece here. You can see it's got a cap that actually marries up with the vintage finish that we've got here, which is pretty cool. And it comes with a sort of fake mouthpiece if you like. This is actually an antibacterial silicon based mouthpiece which works perfectly well when you're practicing with the MEO because we don't actually need to use any mouth control or reed control. Just blowing down this tube alone is absolutely fine for what the MEO requires. And in addition to those two bits, we actually have a couple of neck options that come with it. I've got it set up here on the curved neck, but it also comes with a straight neck should you choose to go with that option. Now let's just talk about the actual unit itself. So the blindingly obvious thing that we have to mention here is that this is actually a real saxophone. I don't know where the saxophone is sourced. I'd imagine from one of the, the factories in the Far East. And as a sax player myself, I'm very satisfied with what I'm presented with here. It feels great under the fingers, the action feels smooth. I mean, we are talking about a genuine saxophone with standard pads in here, standard springs, all the usual gubbins that you'd expect to see on a saxophone mechanism. So it looks and it feels like a saxophone and has the standard saxophone range. We've got the bottom B flat here, all the, uh, the table keys, the palm keys, and it goes up to the standard F or F sharp range. Um, but I'll mention it a little bit later. It does actually go beyond that. We can actually go into the altissimo. So that's the, the saxophone itself. Um, 
Adding to this though, we have the extra weight of the internals. So it does feel like when you combine the internal weight with the actual genuine saxophone body, it feels like the weight to me of, I would say approximately an alto saxophone. Now there are two main modes on the MEO, that's playing mode and command mode. Playing mode is self-explanatory, we're simply playing the saxophone as you've just heard me demonstrate there. But in command mode, this is where we can change various settings on the instrument. In order to access command mode, you simply blow down the mouthpiece and hold down the bottom E flat and C keys. And now through pressing various combinations of buttons, we can control various things. So I'll try and go through them in order. So we can actually change the key. So we can change from B flat to E flat and to concert C by toggling some of the side keys here. We can change the resistance by toggling between the palm keys here. So we've either got soft, medium or hard resistance. It actually defaults to soft in the resistance side of things. There's a mode to, which allows us to play the unit without actually blowing. So literally, once you set it in that mode, um, you just hold it out in front of you and the whole thing just takes off. And within that mode itself, there's actually another mode which allows you to combine playing without blowing, but also add dynamics and various control. So there's a sort of split mode there, if you like. And finally, there's a mode which allows you to select different MIDI channels. There are actually six different MIDI channels that you can choose from, but this is only relevant if you're actually connecting to a door. For a lot of users out there, I imagine that you'll probably just be not doing this option and simply connecting to the basic Respiro Lite software that comes with it, in which case you'll just be using it as an advanced practice tool. So let's talk about the range of the MEO. So as mentioned before, it has a standard two and a half octave range as dictated by the saxophone mechanism, but I know you're all thinking it, does it go into the altissimo? And the answer is yes, it does. It goes up to the top D altissimo note. And the people behind uh, the MEO have programmed in various different fingerings for each note. So in some cases there are like six or seven or maybe even more different alternative fingerings for the different altissimo notes. So most of the options that you know and love should be covered. Okay, let's just get into the world of Respiro a little bit more because this is after all the main software that you guys are gonna be using out there. So first of all, I'm just gonna quote from the way that MEO guys describe Respiro because I really like their description. Respiro is a sound generator designed to respond optimally to MEO. It offers a sophisticated sonic palette of uniquely adjusted timbres, which give an organic and responsive feel. And that's certainly true. And going into it a little bit more in depth, the way um, it's described within the Respiro manual, um, I'm just going to read again from my piece of paper here because this gives a lovely description of exactly what this software offers. Each instrument has been adjusted note by note to sound natural and to respond musically evolving smoothly across a wide range of pitches and dynamics. Respiro uses complex processing that includes tonguing detection, read excitation, ramp up during excitation, breath pressure, bell junction resonance, energy damping, evolution across octaves, pitch fluctuation, note transitions, dynamic timbre shifting, realistic breath pipe noise evolution, screaming, growling, and chaos. So I just love that description. And uh, based on what you heard there, let's just get into it a little bit here. I'm gonna play a couple of notes and then play around with some of the parameters so that you can hear how you can adjust things and, and just have a little bit of fun with it. So here we are in front of the Respira software, and I'm just gonna give you a very brief demo here. So we've got this sound wave generator here, and we can play around with these dots here to change the highs and the lows and the frequency of each sound. So um, we've got Anubis here, let's just play a note. Let's just pull some of these in and out. And you can hear the effect that it's having. And over to the right of that, we've got this breath sensitivity graph here where you can right click on the line and set various points that you can edit and adjust. 
and pull up and down accordingly such that you can reset the sensitivity for each patch as desired. Um, it's all about experimentation, seeing what works for you on each individual patch. But overall, just a, a wonderful program. This is the light version that you get free with the MEO. And believe me, there are enough sounds and there are enough parameters and all sorts to play around with. You know, we've got reverb up here on the right hand side. Um, there's all sorts that you can do within this program. So yeah, just a wonderful addition to the overall package that you get with the MEO. Now, one of the coolest things about the MEO, and I mentioned this in the introduction, is that it has the Bluetooth connectivity. So I've got here um, an iPhone 12 and I just downloaded the Respiro app and instantly after pressing a couple of settings, I was immediately connected to it and the sound just comes straight out the speaker on the iPhone. And it's incredibly um, amazing actually, the, the quality of the sound that just comes out the basic speaker on an iPhone, I couldn't believe it. Of course you can put the headphones in if you want to um, experience a better quality of audio. Um, but just in terms of the simplicity of getting going with simply a phone and the main unit without having to, to go with the slightly more unwieldy you know, software version and the hardware that's involved in traveling around with a laptop it does make it wonderfully slick and practical just being able to do so with a phone. Perfect for your travels as well. So this is what the app looks like as you get it on your phone. You can see that there's only six sounds here, but I should say that you can re-import all of the main sounds from the licensed version of the software that you would receive when you buy the MEO. Uh, so there's some basic settings here. We've got volume at the top. We've got a reverb control. We've got some settings up here. And it's so simple just to play along with the phone, as I say, and I've been actually having a lot of fun just jamming along with tracks on iRealBook Pro on my phone, you know, having both programs open at the same time. So again, the sort of thing that you can do in a very basic format, just you and your phone. Okay, so it's conclusion time. I just absolutely love the MEO. I think this is a brilliant piece of kit. And I just love the fact that it is a genuine saxophone mechanism. And I think this is what makes it stand apart from all of the other wind synthesizers that we know about. For me, there's no sort of getting used to it or breaking it in period. It just feels like it works straight away. It feels completely familiar to me as a saxophone player. You don't have to get used to making sure you touch the buttons in a certain way in order for the, the sound to respond correctly. It just plays like an ordinary saxophone. But of course, we experience all these wonderful sounds that I've been demonstrating to you. So for me, that is the main selling point. And you know, if you're in a situation where you really do struggle um, with playing quietly due to neighbors or whatever it might be, this is a completely silent practice tool and it is an actual saxophone at the same time. So we've really solved that issue. Of course, it does come at a price. It's not the cheapest thing out there, but if saxophone playing is your hobby and your passion, then this could easily be a solution for you. But it's not just the idea that it is a silent practice tool. It can seriously be taken as a serious studio device. You know, it has this MIDI capability as demonstrated. It can plug into the Respiro software or into the door of your choice. And you could, in that sense, use it in the studio with that familiar feeling of playing a saxophone. So you're not fumbling around, but you're playing a fluid melody that works for you. And at the same time, you know, you're cutting a brilliant studio track. So there's, there's all sorts you can do with this thing. And I love the fact that you could just travel around with it as well. I mean, look at the size of it. It's fairly lightweight. You've got a strap here that holds it. It feels quite comfortable. It's not too weight bearing on the right hand thumb. We've got different choices of neck here. You can put your own mouthpiece on it if you just want that feeling of familiarity. So they really have thought of everything. And I didn't really mention the finish, but this is obviously a, a vintage finish. It also comes in a black nickel finish, and we're also expecting in the gold finishes soon here at sax.co.uk. Um, so such a, a wonderful revolutionary piece of kit, and I think this is really going to, well, I've, I've used the phrase before, but I'm gonna use it again. I re really think that this could be a game changer for sax players out there looking for the solutions that I have just mentioned. 
Thanks again for watching another video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and do subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you will be informed of future videos to come.